One of the most popular streamers, everyone knows who she is, Pokimane. Pokimane is always in the news for something controversial. It might be about cookies. It might be because she flaunted a money bouquet on TikTok or for calling out other creators. But recently she's been going viral for a story that she told on her stream and it's extremely disturbing and it's about her and her relationship with her editor. Pokimane reveals disturbing reason her video editor couldn't do the job. Hey, do you have time to talk? I'm ready to finally tell you why I've been struggling so much with deadlines. I think you can probably figure it out by now. Is because he couldn't stop touching himself. You know how hard it is to find a video editor? It took me months to find someone who I enjoyed working with. And it really helps having a video editor because if you stream like Pokimane, you're streaming for eight hours a day. And someone like Pokimane, she also does vlogs and she has a podcast. So she needs all the help that she can get. And if you can see here, she hasn't posted in three months. Many, many years ago, when I was like super Omega active on YouTube, and I was working with a lot of different editors. There was one editor in particular that I would work with a lot because his edits were really, really good. But he had one major problem, which was that sometimes out of nowhere, his videos would just be like a week or two late. And when you're trying to upload consistently and when that's really important for the algorithm, it's kind of a problem. Having an editor or editors save so much time. I remember PewDiePie used to have two editors because he used to post every single day. And for someone who streams, they probably give all of their VOD footage to the editor and they cut it down and they make clips. So obviously it's important to have someone you can trust that can go through hours and hours of your footage and cut it up in a way that you enjoy. Now let's listen to what happened to Pokemon with her editor. It's like trying to make it work with him and I would ask him like, is there anything that I can help with? Anything that I can do to kind of like make it easier to be on time and like you're welcome to tell me if you're gonna be a bit slower with the upload so that maybe we can work around it blah 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 months go by and he messages me out of the blue and he says hey do you have time to talk i'm ready to finally tell you why i've been struggling so much with deadlines and i said Oh, like, great. Hopefully this is something that we can fix. Tell me why he proceeds to tell me that the reason why he would sometimes turn around videos a week or two late is because he couldn't stop touching himself. You know how ridiculous that is? Touching himself? I was trying to pick which word to use. Someone send this man to jail. To me, his in a way employer of many, many months. When I tell you I've never halted a conversation so fast, because I'm like, you are the person that I send like hours of footage to. I don't want to know what you're... Because this is ridiculous. Imagine saying that to your employer. Couldn't stop touching himself. This is a few years ago, but I think... She didn't really want to say anything until recently because she has an update. She says, thank you for the dozens of editor applications into my email today, but this happened years ago. Also, tweet wording kind of misleading. He said this to me, but didn't directly say it was about me. Either way, convo ended and working relationship ended, of course. You crazy? It's still nasty, but it's nasty in different degree, I guess. Okay, so the wording wasn't correct. So maybe he wasn't touching himself to her in the videos maybe he was just touching himself in general so it isn't a sexual harassment issue it's an issue that he needs to deal with his therapist either way it's weird when i tell you i've never halted a conversation so fast pokemon said that she ended up paying him for months before ultimately deciding to work with different editors going forward the streamer explained that the editor stated it was an addiction and that because of her first-handed experience seeing other people struggle with addiction she felt bad for him like i've seen people that i've even lived with struggle with addiction so when he's like you know like this is like an addiction of mine i genuinely i genuinely felt really really bad so i still paid him for months <laughs> just because i i i didn't want to be the reason that he like didn't have enough money i don't i don't know you know pokemon says it's okay then it's better song